Hello everyone, this is Molika from Jam and Panther team at Prolifix. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to connect to an Oracle database from Panther on a Windows machine. For this demo, I will use the latest Panther version that is 5.53 and I'm going to use the 32-bit version of it. I will use the Oracle 19 database server as well as the client. And these are our latest OCI 8 uh, API DLLs and the libraries, which I'm going to use in this demo. So there are two techniques we can use to connect with Oracle database. So the first one is using the Oracle DLLs we provide with the product. So you can find them in the util folder of the Panther installation directory. And you can see here the list of Oracle drivers that comes with the product. So you can use any one of them. All right. Now, the second technique is uh, you can link the Oracle libraries with the Panther executable. For this, uh, we could use any one of these libraries uh, according to our requirement. OK, so now let's see the environment variables uh, that are required to be set uh, in order to uh, get this work. So uh, um, you need to set the Oracle home and the TNS admin if you are using the TNS names.ora for the connection and the path variable. So here is an example of TNS names.ora. As you can see here, I'm using uh, the ORCL PDB 19 as my service name to connect to the database. So let's first see the first technique that is using the DLLs. For this, make sure you point the DLLs uh, present in the util folder in your ini file so that uh, the Panther executable can load these DLLs. Okay, so now let's test the connection with ProDev. So here in my bash file, I'm setting up the environment variables. So you can see the Oracle home, TNS admin, and the path variable. I have set up the uh, Oracle home to the Oracle 19C client so that uh, it can load the DLLs. And in my ini file, I have pointed those uh, DLLs. So you can see the ura dm 32dll So when I run this bash file, so this is my prodev, and I have the connection string in the screen. So let's run this screen in the test mode. So when I hit this uh, connection button, so this is going to execute this uh, connection statement. So I'm going to connect with the HR schema that comes with the Oracle product. So let's try the connection. Okay, so the connection was successful and it is connected to the HR schema of the Oracle 19 product. Now coming to the second technique that is rebuilding Panther executables with the Oracle uh, libraries. So for this, uh, we need to uh, uncomment this block that is ora underscore install is equal to one in the make file, which is present in the link folder. And in the same folder, you will see the makewars.ora file. So you need to uncomment the block uh, for the library, which you want to link with the executable. So in this case, I'm going to link uh, my pro dev with the ora dm 32lib so let's rebuild the product with the Oracle library. So here, as I mentioned in the make file, uh, we need to uncomment this uh, ORA install is equal to one. And in the make ORA, which is present in the link folder, I have uncommented this block so that it can pick the ORA dm32.lib. Okay, so now in the command window, I'll open up a command window and here uh, I need to set the environment variables first. So let me um, set it. So this, I'm setting up the Oracle home, my compiler and the SM base, which is nothing but the Panther installation directory. So, okay, let me set the environment. Now I will run and make so dev. 32.exe enter 
okay so my build was successful and let's see in the link folder uh, i have got this product which is linked with the oracle library now we will test the connection with this new product so this time i don't need to uh, load the dls because we have already linked the library with the product so you can see i have removed the block which used to load the dls in the any file so now when i run this product let's test the same screen without loading the dls so i go to the f2 test mode and i click on connect button okay so you can see uh, we are connected to the 19c hr schema so hope this video will be helpful for you to uh, to set up the oracle database connection with panther using these two methods thanks for watching our video if you have liked the video please press the like button if you are viewing our content for the first time please press the subscribe button if you have any queries either post them in the comment section or email us at supportedprolifix.com